Good morning, lovely, jovely peeps of TikTok. Welcome back to my page. I'll be posting two TikToks today, guys. This is very unusual for me. As you can see, I do have a filter on. I will admit, because I look like an absolute shitbag. I'm not long up out of the bed, myself and this little one decided to sleep on this morning. I literally had to carry her into the kitchen. <laughs> she's so lazy. Uh, but she's just the cutest little thing on four paws. Anyway, good morning, everyone. Eyebrows aren't even properly done yet. I did dye them, guys. I used the Jolene bleach. I just lightened them a little bit. And there's kind of a, the kind of went kind of gingery on me. <laughs> but sure, wait till I do my hair colour now. That'll be tomorrow morning. I will be doing the hair colour. And um, hopefully it'll look a little, it'll, a change is as good as the rest. It'll still be kind of my auburny shade, but it'll be more strawberry, hopefully. Have to see what way this colour turns out. But I will, of course, post it for you all so you can all have a look and have a for giggles and shits. Anyway, on to the subject matter of my little video this morning, of my TikTok. TikTok. I'm terribly posh today, darlings. Oh my God, my coffee is getting empty. Hold on a second, lads. I'll put you on pause. Holy shit bags, Batman. One's coffee cannot be allowed to become less in the cup. There it is. Ah, beautiful breakfast, lads. You cannot beat a protein coffee for breakfast. I just don't be hungry first thing in the morning. Anyway, moving swiftly along. I have just heard that uh, Princess Catherine, Wales, of UK, Princess Wales, has been diagnosed with cancer. This was um, announced yesterday, I think it was 6pm I on the BBC. Well, I have been, I've not been really following her story, bless her, but to a certain extent, the amount of grief that that wee girl has had to put up with from the press, oh, all sorts of bullshit, basically, and conspiracy theories, and that I have been listening to, has been all over the bloody news. My heart goes out to her, it really does. She made, she sat in a park at Win, in, in the gardens at Windsor on a, a bench, in a stripy jumper, just hair down, and the, she's so pale, bless her. She's going through chemotherapy at the moment. She had a big surgery in January, she was saying she had a big surgery in January and they couldn't, and afterwards, when they took biopsies, they found that there had been cancer present. So they're giving her chemotherapy as a preventative measure. You know, just if there is any cancer cells left, the little bit of chemo she's getting will kill them and hopefully it'll never come back. I mean, the girl is only 42, I believe. She's young, lads. She's a young girl. It's, and you know, everybody... Everybody on the planet is touched by this disease. It's a horrible disease. It's a horrible disease for anybody at any age, at any time in their life. And it's a horrible disease for family members. And to see them, you know, not well. Because you love them. And that's the holy all of it. And this wee girl has three little small kids. And the amount of grief she's had to put up with. And there, her lovely husband was, he couldn't go to his, to a memorial for his godfather who had passed away. Um, I'm not sure if it was a memorial, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he had to pull out at the last minute. And um, on the news they're saying that that was around the time that she was told, bless her, that she had cancer. Um, and he cancelled that appointment straight to his wife. And he's been by her side helping her in any way he can, helping with the kids. Plus he's also doing his duties as the Prince of Wales. And then you see that poor young man who lost his mother when he was 15. And now his father has cancer and is being treated for it. And his wife is being treated for cancer. I mean, talk about a double whammy. I, my heart goes out to him as well, but I have to say to all of them. I mean, I know there are a lot of people out there that do or don't like the royal family, but they're human beings like the rest of us. And I am just absolutely saddened to hear that she has cancer. That's just, that's terrible. God bless her. And I do like her, actually. She was in Ireland. She wasn't prosperous. Absolutely stunning, folks. Stunning looking girl. And friendly as you'll ever meet. She's a lovely girl. And I just think it's 
it's terrible sad and I hopefully now she's very positive so and the fact that they found it after the procedure just in biopsies perhaps is a sign that um oh gosh is a sign that they have caught it on time please god and at an early stage and the chemotherapy will that'll be it bye bye gone right that is my uh, i'm just saying that wishing princess catherine well uh a quick recovery and the king quick recovery and i know there are a lot of people out there that aren't royalists but that you know they're human beings like the rest of us they're they're having a horrible time and i'm wishing them both a, a speedy recovery and that's it lads that's all i'm going to say on this topic now i'm i have another tiktok going up a completely different subject matter but i'll never <laughs> I love you all. Be good now. Happy weekend to you. Bye.